what's going on guys welcome back to another build video here in today's video i bring you the corrupted savior and yes your boy was able to complete a uh, hardcore veteran and then i went ahead and then i uh, got shards and then this was the first corrupted weapon that i picked up uh, after the new patch had came out and i will tell you it is worth the challenge worth the wait because this thing absolutely shreds without further ado let's get right into the build all right so first things first we're going to go over the archetype so we're using the hunter as the prime archetype and we're going to use hunter's focus because it most recently got a buff it now only takes 0.5 seconds to cause the focus state to give us the extra damage and then i'm also pairing it with rampage from the challenger for the secondary archetype uh just feel like it does more damage and then you get that little bit of uh invulnerability window um and then that way we can keep our dead to rights uh perk active the more we hit weak spots i'm using full bruiser set because why not gives us that full arm protection under our medium roll and then for the relic we are using the salvage tart yet again um, and i'm going all damage range crit damage weak spot damage and range crit chance of course the corrupted savior um, i'm using bullet weaver because i feel like if you use it uh, that way your bullet weaver will kick in to help out that fire rate. Krell Axe with Tainted Blade to give that debuff on the enemy. Um, and then correct with Broom Pistol with Momentum. Um, just going for all damage here. I feel like this paired with the Corrupted Broom Pistol actually packs a little bit of a punch. It's a nice sidearm paired with the Corrupted Savior. Uh, amulet, we're going with the Night Weaver's Grudge yet again. Uh, Atonement Fold Ring, Probability Cord for increased crit damage, Hardcore Metal Band for survivability, and Zanius Malice to give us more weak spot damage. And then going on to our traits, we have Long Shot and Strong Back from our archetypes. And then we got Fortify, Regrowth, Triage, Vigor for Health, Spirit and Expertise, Bark Skin for further survivability. Siphoner to get the health back and then put the remaining points in the fitness and the concoction that I always use mostly you guys know about two tonic especially when it comes to squishy high damage builds uh, the more health the better can't go wrong with it um, but this is pretty much the build guys you just want to put the debuff with from the crawl axe activate the rune pistol uh, mod Activate your skills and then just go to town with the Corrupted Savior. And as you can see, not even max stacks. I'm shooting over 600 a bullet. Pr pretty much getting full uh, all crits as you can see here. And the full Rampage stack with the focus. I'm at 781. And then it slowly dwindles down. But still, as you can see, the DPS is absolutely freaking crazy uh, with this. But um, that is pretty much it for this build. It's pretty simple pretty self-explanatory um and you'll see me melt some bosses here so uh without further ado let's go melt some bosses Yeah. 
Alright, well that's going to wrap things up for this build video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing for more build videos coming your way. And for more content coming in here in the near future. Like I said, going back to making more videos here soon, especially with Dragon's Dogma coming out. And also uh, some Hell Divers updates and some Remnant 2 updates. So hopefully uh, we get some Remnant 2 DLC soon. You know I'll be all over that. So if you want to uh, stay tuned for all that kind of stuff, like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also join our Discord where we uh, talk about all kinds of games and just hang out and play with... Uh, play games with other people and all kinds of stuff. So um, if that all sounds good to you, then uh, welcome to the Lost Days Gaming community. And I'll see you all in the next video. Deuces.